Alright, what's going on everyone? I'm right here for Students Aesthetics. Um, today I'm going to take y'all grocery shopping, alright? A lot of you have been asking me what kind of foods I eat right now during my bulk. And also, um, because I'm here in Sevilla in Spain, it's obviously going to be a little bit different for me because they don't have the exact foods here that I would eat at home. So, I thought maybe it would be interesting to show you guys uh, what I eat here. But mainly it will be the same because I usually stick to the pretty easy foods. Um, now, as far as bulking and cutting goes, I usually stick to kind of like the same food sources. When bulking, I would have like a little bit more pasta here instead of like rice or other like more filling carb sources. But in general, I eat the same thing because I do intermittent fasting while I'm cutting. So I have a lot of calories to work with per meal. So my meals are usually pretty big. So you guys to understand like it doesn't really matter what kind of food sources you eat, all right? You don't have to eat chicken and rice all day. And those foods will not necessarily, you know, make you lose fat or gain muscle. So that all comes down to your total calories per day. And then also the certain macronutrient breakdown you're on but if you want to have more information about food sources and why that doesn't actually matter that much make sure to check out my flexible dieting video i'll put a link in the description box down below so today i'm just going to show you what foods i purchase these foods are not magical i just like them that's why i eat them all right there's really the only reason why i shoot for certain foods that i get i only eat foods that i like all right because you got to make the diet enjoyable in order to be able to sustain it um, but with that said you know the foods that i purchase they are considered usually healthy. Um, I stick to a diet that is 80% healthy at least, and then I can play around with the 20%. Those are my personal guidelines for if it fits your macros, flexible dieting. But you should check out that video if you want to have more information about that. But I personally usually stick to like 90 to 95% clean diet with whole foods. So. so as far as the grocery shopping goes, I will list the foods into certain categories, all right? Because like I said, um, the food sources are not magical, all right? They contain fats, carbs, and protein. And then you would also have fiber, um, but that's something I will not really get into. But I will list them into those three things. And then we obviously have fruit and vegetables as well. Um, so I'll basically do it in that way because that makes everything pretty much the most easy for you guys to understand like why I choose certain foods. And I also think that will give y'all the best idea of examples of how you can get to those macronutrient targets with certain food because maybe you want to copy some foods that I use maybe you don't like every single food but then you can simply adjust it to your liking right anyway let's get to the grocery store and I'm gonna show you guys all right so what I got here first of all some tuna which I usually put on sandwiches or with pasta I got spiced chicken uh, which I personally like because this only adds like one gram of fat and a little bit of carbs and you can also go for the natural one which I do recommend if you are a student because this is obviously a lot cheaper so if you're on a budget always go for the regular one and have spices yourself at home and then I got some chicken fillet which I'll put on my sandwich as well now usually I would also have some quark which is called queso fresco here but they only have flavored ones here and this adds so many carbs, like 14 grams of carbs per 100 grams and 12 grams of that is sugar. So, so I rather don't do that because I can use those carbs in a better way. Those 40 grams of sugar or even more, they will not fill you up as well as another carb source. But if you happen to be a hard gainer, I do recommend actually going for these flavors. Another meat source we normally have is low fat meat, but this one is very high in fats. They don't have that version here. And I would normally put that in my pasta with some tomato sauce, but I'll skip out of that. Right? Eggs, obviously another very easy protein source. Pretty much eat like five a day usually. We'll go for some bacon as well to roll with those eggs. In moderation, it's completely fine. And as my final protein source, some more fish, some gambas. Like to have these from time to time. And these are all my proteins. First of all, we all know what I eat for carbs. Oats every single day. But you got a bunch of different cereals here. It's obviously a good carb source. I'm gonna go for this one because this is the highest in fiber. It's 27 grams of fiber per 100 grams and the others have like eight grams or something around that. So this is an easy way for me to get my daily fiber intake in and also a nice carb source that fills me up. We move on to the rice. I'm taking one minute rice because I'm a busy guy, you know, I live a busy lifestyle. I don't always have time to cook up food. So I'm gonna go for like the brown rice and then some basmati rice as well. And now the difference is guys, the one is not necessarily better than the other. This one contains a lot more fiber than this one, all right? The macros, other than that, are pretty much the same in terms of carbs. Then again, it's all about hitting those daily targets. If you already hit your targets per day, just go for this one. Otherwise, have this one to help you hit those targets. Next up, pasta, obviously. Same thing here, all right? We have whole wheat pasta and we got white pasta. I personally hate whole wheat pasta, so I only roll with the white ones. And then I get my fiber intake from somewhere else. 
for example, that rice and those all brand flakes. And that is just the way to make your life the most enjoyable and your diet sustainable. Next up, some white potatoes. Usually I go for sweet potatoes as well, but they actually ran out of it. Gonna get some tortillas, very good bulking food, carb source. And then I usually roll with chicken, veggies, and some type of sauce. Next up, easy carb snack, rice cakes, obviously. And then also some mice cakes, all right? Hola. Then one bulky, I like to add some peanut butter on here, add some fats, and yeah, very easy calories. Also getting some fresh whole wheat bread, and this is just for today because you cannot really keep that for multiple days. And I'll put some tuna on there today because I feel like having that today. And that is really it for the carb sources. And now we're gonna move on to vegetables and fruits, which are actually also carbs. That's first of all apples, which is my go-to fruit. Always eat at least once a day. Next up some bananas, usually put this in my shake. Some grapes and some kiwi fruit and also some mandarins for some variety not sure if tomato is a veggie or a fruit but i'm gonna have some cherry tomatoes as well i usually shoot for some type of lettuce mix this one is for two days so i'm gonna go for this one and i actually forgot but obviously some blueberries as well that i put into my oatmeal these are pre-cut so this is perfect for me because i'm too lazy to cut veggies and uh, some carrots, I like those as well from time to time. Some cucumber, usually I would take some zucchinis as well, but I still have those at my place. And some bell peppers. So that's it for the veggies, now we're moving on to the fat sources. So first of all, some nuts. Now first, gotta check the labels on all of those because most of them have a lot of salt in it, a lot of sodium, and I don't want that. I'm gonna go for some walnuts. And I'm also gonna have some almonds. And these are literally the only two options that don't have a crazy amount of added salt like the other ones here. Another go-to fat source of mine, y'all have seen this before. It's 85% chocolate, I really like it. Some peanut butter, great fat source. Now usually I would go for the natural one for my protein, but the supplements from them have not arrived here yet. So for now I'm gonna have to stick with this one. But yeah, this one has a lot of added sugars and also sodium. So I do actually recommend going for the natural version. Now another fat source will be olive oil because I will not be using Pam spray here like I do at home. And another fat source will be green pesto, which I'll add to my recipes. And that's pretty much it. The eggs obviously also contain fat and I have like five a day usually. So I'm good to go for my fat intake. As far as the other sauce goes, some ketchup. I recommend going for the 50% reduced sugar one because it tastes exactly the same, saves some calories. And I got some yogurt dressing here, which has pretty solid macros. And obviously some tomato sauce for my pasta. And for my chicken and rice meal, it's gonna have a teriyaki sauce and a sweet and sour sauce. And that's how you keep things fun. Like I said, you can use sauces and everything as long as you stick to those macros per day. I'll get some almond milk as well. Usually I will go for the unsweetened version, but they don't have it here in Spain, or at least not in this supermarket, so I'm gonna go for this one. The unsweetened version has like 13 calories instead of 24. That's pretty much it. And I will use this in my oats and my cornflakes as well. As far as the drinks go, I like to have some Coke Zero from time to time. Has zero calories. And I usually like to go for some Monsters as well, but they don't have the zero calorie ones here, and I know they do have them at a different store, so I'm gonna go there later. Jal, so that's it. That's everything I picked up. Um, now you guys gotta realize, like, there are mostly clean foods in here, right? Now the thing is, like I said, I eat 90 to 95% clean, and those are the foods I got here. Now whenever I feel like cheating, I will go out to like a restaurant and eat out, or I'll go to McDonald's, or you know, I have some cheat foods here and there. But I don't really like to stack them into my fridge or have them at my place because I know in that way I might like fuck up a lot, right? And um, I've had those binging cycles, so that's something I really don't want to do. And that is why, you know, I, I usually just buy clean foods and then whenever I feel like cheating, I'll just go to the supermarket or I'll go somewhere and have a nice cheap meal, right? So that's how I like to do it. Um, so this is really the staple of my diet. This is not what I eat every single day, but this is the staple. And then um, sometimes I'll get some different foods here and there. I do eat out a lot, so it's not like I cook my meals every single day um, but this is definitely a staple of it and um, I guess you guys get the idea so like I said these foods are not magical so these are just foods that I like um, as far as the sauces and stuff the same thing you can use sauces um, they don't necessarily make you fat all right they're not bad for you um, as long as you use them in moderation and as long as you track those calories and macros from the sauces once you do that 
you're good to go, right? There's no problem at all. Now with that said, you know, this is my personal diet. I'm not saying it works for everyone or everybody likes these type of foods, all right? You should create your own diet or have your own diet created for you. Now, if you have no idea on how to do that, then make sure to go to my website and apply for online coaching or for a customized diet routine. And I'm happy to help you out, guys. I wanna change as much lives as I possibly can through these videos and also through offering my services. So I hope you guys do appreciate it. If you did, make sure to like the video down below. Make sure to comment down below, subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you guys for watching as always. I really, really appreciate it. And peace out guys, see you in the next video.